Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and in this video I am going to show you how to draw tangent lines between two different size circles in Vectric, V-Carve, Desktop, Pro, or Spire. If you're new to this, you're going to want to know this. If you've been around for a while, you're frustrated because you can't get tangent lines going between the two circles. Well, I've got a quick shortcut for you so you don't have to fiddle with trying to jostle things around. It'll take you like two steps. So let's dive into VCarve and I'll show you how to take care of this until they get this problem solved. They do know that you need to have that capability and their software did have that feature but something broke. I know that they know about it and they're working on it. In the meantime, this is your solution to get tangent lines between two different size circles. Okay, so for you seasoned guys, just bear with me. I am going to take my time a little bit because I do videos for beginners who are just getting into this stuff. So I want to make sure they have the right tools in their arsenal so they can get really good at this really quick. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure your software is updated. And the way you do that is by going to the help section here and then come down and check for updates. Now, Vectric, I don't think, has auto update feature. So I had to update today. Anyway, okay, so that's how you do that. All right, so when you're drawing tangent lines, the software is supposed to, hold on a second, I, let, pick a polyline tool right here. And the software is supposed to create tangents for you in this manner. You would pick a point on the circle there, pick the point on this circle here, and hit T. And it should tangent both these lines, but you can see that it did not tangent the first point. So we want to make a tangent line by using other features in Vectric. And here's how you do it. You pick your polyline and pick the approximate location where you think that tangent is going to drop in. And it is going to be about right here. And then I'm going to come over to this other circle and hit T. And it's going to tangent based on that line. So we got a pretty close tangent point as it is right now. Now we're going to come back to this circle on the side we want a tangent and hit T again. So now we have two lines in there. So I'm going to hit escape. Now before we do that, we're going to go to the other one and we're going to create a tangent line on the other side. So we're going to do that again. We're going to pick a polyline and we are going to select the approximate location that tangent will drop in at. Click it. We're going to come to the other circle on the side that we want it to tangent, hit T, and then we're going to come back to the other circle on the same side we want a tangent and hit T. And there we are. So now we are going to go into the node mode. This is where it gets so easy. Hit N, and you see we've got three nodes. We have two black nodes and a green node. You want to hover over the green node and hit D. And that will delete that node. And now you have one single line between the two circles that are virtually perfect tangents. And now we're going to switch to the other one and do the same thing. We're going to come up to the green, hit D, and it's going to delete that. You hit escape to get out of node mode, and you can cut your features now. And there we have it. Now we want to just join everything. So click it, right click, and check join or close vectors. If that is highlighted, you'll need to come over and join it with a line. And that is how you can create a tangent line in Vectric, regardless of whether their tangent feature is working or not. <laughs> Leave it to an engineer to solve problems like this. Hey, if this helped you, give me a thumbs up comment would always help. That always helps my videos boost. Have an awesome day and I'm glad I can help. Take care.